Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Great. Um, so my name is Amber. I'm from the UK, but I live in mm -hmm. Hong Kong. How about you? Um, I live in India, but I'm from Nepal, basically from Nepal, uh, and I grew up in India. Oh, fantastic. Um, so what brings you to Cambly today? Um, I want to have a conversation practice. Okay, cool. Right. Uh, the topic could be anything. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. Yeah. So to me, your English sounds really advanced. Um, mm -hmm. That's great to hear. So let's, let's go through some like basic get to know each other. And then we can sure. go from topic. We can talk about topics from there. Sure. So what do you do? Um, what do I do? Um, I, I am a student. Uh, I'm studying computer science and, uh, and I <laughs> teach language, Hindi language to foreigners. So I'm working and studying at the same time. Nice. Yeah. I guess you need money to pay your studies or sure, you just yes. love teaching. Sure. Yeah. Um, so it sounds like you have a very busy schedule. It does. I, I do. Do you have any free time to do any hobbies or to relax? Um, when I'm not working, I may be watching um, some English shows, right? Yeah. To practice English. And I like, I'm really fascinating about accents, you know, mm -hmm. American accents. British accent. Yeah. So, what yeah. kind of shows are you watching then? Um, I I, I watch um on Netflix. It could be movies. Uh, it could be series. But lately, I've yeah. been lately, I'm not getting time, uh, time to spare yeah. Yeah. for the movies. I'm really busy for a couple of months. But yeah, what I do right yeah. now, when I'm free, is just listen to music. Cool. And what genre of music do you listen to? Mm, a genre of music, uh, I would yeah. say is I would say uh, pop music mostly. Yeah. Uh, it could be Hindi, uh, English, and Nepali. So, um, yeah. Okay. Great. Um. So, is Hindi your native language, or is it Nepali? Okay, so I grew up in India, so my first language was Hindi. But uh -huh. uh, my parents often spoke to me in Nepali, but I never replied them in Nepali. So um, my first language happened to be Hindi, but it's yeah. it was it, it was supposed to be Nepali, but it wasn't. Well, well, it depends on your environment, right? So yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. I go to yeah. school. Everybody speak Hindi, so yeah. yeah. So, so there was more weight to Hindi than Nepali. Uh, have you ever lived in Nepal? Um, I have never lived, but I visited a couple of, many times. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, okay, that's really fascinating. What part are you from in England? Um, so I'm from the northern part of Manchester. Manchester, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, what can you, what do you think of my accent? Your accent is fabulous. Oh, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Because a lot, I tell people I'm from the northern part of the UK, like Manchester. And many people say, oh, I don't sound northern. And I'm like, yeah, that's true. I don't sound northern. But then other people mm -hmm. think I sound really northern. Um, so okay. That's quite funny. What do they sound like from north? Oh, uh, they say, like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Like, so I say, I don't know. They say, I don't know. But that is still understandable. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it, I, I really like the Northern accent in the UK. It's like one of my favorites. And then I Scottish. See. Uh -huh. So what are you originally from? Like, oh, I'm originally, um, yeah, born and raised Northern part of the UK. Um, mm -hmm. But my town, 
So I live in a small town and it's a very, mm -hmm. there's a lot of different people from different areas. So there's this neutral kind of accent. Mm -hmm. And see. my dad, he grew up in London. Mm -hmm. So he has that Southern accent and my mum has the Northern accent. So mm -hmm. they kind of came together and this is like the neutral. Mm. And how's my accent? What do you think of my accent? I think your accent or your English accent is very clear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it more towards American or British? Uh, I'm not sure. Because it's really funny because I would say maybe American, but when you say British, it's really funny. You go British. <laughs> yeah. So I, that's how you I, yeah. say, right? Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, British. Mm. Or like wow. Harry, Harry, Harry Potter. Yeah, Harry Potter, bottle of water. I was gonna say bottle, <laughs> bottle of water. <laughs> yeah, it's really funny. That's that's why accent fascinates me. Yeah. Uh, especially British accent. Why? <laughs> how they uh, leave the T's in between the words. Yeah, wow. it's really funny, but like Americans, they they say butter, they like roll it, yeah. they roll the this is, Yeah, this has made it into D, butter, yeah. water. Butter, water, like herb. But, but both but, accent is trying to, you know, make it easier. Oh, you, that's why I wondered. I A lot of my students say that the American accent is easier. And I'm like, really? How? Why do you think American accent is easy? Oh, what are you asking me? Yeah. Oh, American accent is easier because it, it sounds like fluid, right? Oh. Fluid. And, and, and British accent is more like uh, start, stop, start, stop, like this. Yeah, I, I I see that, and I think we pronounce a lot more of our sounds. Mm -hmm. I guess and you have a yeah. lot of different accents than Americans. Oh yeah, we have so many different. I struggle to understand people from Liverpool. Mm -hmm. Um, when I was at university, mm -hmm. I lived with a girl from Liverpool. And I also mm -hmm. lived with a guy from Ukraine. Mm -hmm. Guess who I could understand better, more easily? Liverpool and? Ukraine. <laughs> I guess Ukraine. Yeah, honestly, I could understand him better than this girl. I was like, repeatedly, I asked her, can you, can you repeat that or can you slow down? Um, yeah. It's quite funny. <laughs> hmm, I see. So you, uh, you yourself mm. get confused with each other accent. Yeah. Oh, definitely, definitely. So I, I fully empathize with English learners. And yeah, <laughs> like it is difficult because we do have so many different accents. Mm. And within the accent, we have different words or different sayings. Yes, yes. Um, do you use the which... word, do you use the phrase, it's raining cat and dogs? Oh, yeah, it is raining cats and dogs at the moment. It actually do is. You, did you use it and did you like, or is it outdated? Um, I think it's pretty outdated, but I will say it, um, in passing i do think it is outdated i wouldn't just automatically wake up and be like oh it's raining cats and dogs i would say <laughs> oh it's raining a lot or there are more crude ways that like younger people would say <laughs> for example like I do, do you want me to repeat it yes okay we'd say oh it's pissing it down <laughs> <laughs> we would we would that would be more common but obviously you wouldn't say that with your grandparents or your co or your boss but if you're with your friends or if you're with co-workers who you're close with you can say oh it's pissing it down outside <laughs> mm. all right i see you okay <laughs> and uh, 
do you find American accent funny? Yeah, um, I specifically, I found, find the Southern, Southern American accent really funny to listen to mm -hmm. because it's What's so strong. Um, because they're like, hey, y'all, I don't know, it's just so strong and it's like, is it real or they, is it fake? <laughs> Mm, I said, do you see what Americans you? around you? Oh, uh, yeah, sometimes, sometimes. I see. Well, I haven't, I, I can understand most of the Americans. Oh, yeah. And there, there may be very local American language, but which I'm not aware of. Uh, okay. I, yeah. I think I'm familiar of like three American accents. Yeah. So one of them is like from East Coast, like New York, and then the second one is South, like Texas, like, hey y'all, and then number three is California, where it's more, less strong. Obviously, there's more accents than that, right? But they're the ones that I can tell the is there most. Any, is there any stereotype of American accent in your country? Yeah. Yeah, there's a stereotype. For example, when I was when I was just speaking then, I was like, "Hey y'all," because we think every American say "y'all," like "y'all." <laughs> okay, hey y'all. Yeah, hey y'all. Oh, okay. And see. then people from New York say "coffee," "coffee," "coffee" for coffee. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Coffee. But that's yeah. Those are very stereotypes. Mm, I see. And a bit like about, a bottle of water. Yes. <laughs> what about the uh, American as a person? Oh yeah, we we have a lot of stereotypes. Um, well, from my personal experience and like people around me, I would say that Americans are more outgoing. They are more confident. Mm -hmm. Um more direct mm -hmm. um i don't know more like capitalistic in nature like they like to spend money they like to go shopping that's mm -hmm. that's like my those are my like stereotypes how about, about you me i, I yeah. don't have any opinion for that i don't know mm -hmm. both of these cultures too deeply Mm. I just know their accents. Uh, look, uh, like I know, like uh, British are more sounds yeah. more sophisticated. <laughs> yeah, I heard that too. Yeah, like so, a lot of Americans try to sound British to look more sophisticated. Yeah, the, the, uh, there's Queen English, right? Yeah, Royal English. Yeah. Uh, who? Uh, so those that kind of English. Is it used by regular people? Yeah, it is used by regular people. But as a society, we would view those people as being posh, upper class, very rich, very wealthy. That's our view on those kind of people. How they speak like? Can you demonstrate? Um, oh, good, af good afternoon, dear sir. How how may how may I be of assistance to you? Wow! I don't know. <laughs> this is too polite. Yeah, it is. It's super, and, and sometimes it's not always polite. Sometimes it comes across rude, depending on your context. But oh, yeah. I don't know. How can it be rude? Um, like you know. If if they look down on you, you know, if you're in a group uh, of people and they, they kind of like, oh, of course, such commoners. Such, <laughs> I such heard commoners, that word. Right? Yeah, commoners. I heard that yeah. word, commoners. Yeah, commoners. It's just like people, yeah. Uh, we have the word uh, commoner in Hindi as well. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Are you a commoner? <laughs> I'm a commoner, <laughs> I guess. Oh, yeah. our time's yeah, about to run out. Yeah. Thank um, you very much. Really, you're welcome. It was so lovely meeting you.
Take care. You too.